Hi everybody, my name is Gabe, and if you are watching this video, you are currently watching the second in a three-part series where I'm breaking down our first three singles of the year. The previous video was for Dusk, and I recommend going back and watching that one if you haven't already. But this one we're doing, we are talking about the songwriting and the production behind Night Sea, our single from February of this year. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into the project and uh, see what we got. All right, so here we are in Ableton Live, and let's start breaking down this song track by track. For Dusk, if you remember, I only had one synth track on that one, and the synths are my favorite part of any song, so I'm excited for this one, because we have a lot more than one synth track on this one. Let's see, seven, technically, synth tracks? If you want to consider piano a synth, I guess. Let's start with this big, buzzy lead synth that kind of is part of the intro of the song. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> So yeah, pretty basic uh, saw-based uh, synthesizer there. I have a little bit of the low end filtered out because I've got a lot of sub and uh, uh, an actual bass guitar going on. So I don't need too much of the low end of any of these synths. Uh, piano is just playing those same chords for that intro part like this. And then there's a chord change kind of uh, halfway through that verse that goes like this. Pretty simple. Uh, it follows the vocal melody, and we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit later. There's only two other synths going on here, and they're just kind of weird ambient sort of things that happen. This is one of them here. Here I have it named as an ambi chime synth. It's a it's a weird, uh, very echoey, almost sounds like wind chimes, but it's uh, it's got a really cool sound. And I have that kind of just sitting low in the mix, providing a little bit of a texture for those synths. Uh, and then the only other synth on that verse part is this one. Kind of a shimmery sort of arpeggiator sound. Really nice to just kind of like hold down the rest of the verse. So all together, that entire synth part for the verse sounds like this. and wide not a whole lot going on besides those chords those main sections but it's wide it's ambient there's a lot of little extra like those floating chimes in there really nice big sound from those synths we add in this one that i called the voom synth uh for the chorus this is what that sounds like Kind of a nice melody there for the uh, the chorus part. Here's what that sounds like with the rest of the synths. So that's what the uh, the main chorus parts sound like. Uh, and then for the second verse, we have this really cool uh, distorted arpeggio synth that comes in. Uh, this is what that sounds like. <laughs> Here, it kind of filters down, and then it's going to come back up. Kind of 
a cool phased uh, square saw type of sound. Uh, really neat arpeggiated synth. And what that's doing is supporting the vocals, which are kind of a like a rap style vocal. So uh, that's what that's doing. Uh, and then the only other synth is during the guitar solo. I just have a really simple like ambient drone sort of thing. This is what that sounds like. Pretty simple, just kind of pulses, uh, distorted sine wave type of thing. And that's it for the synths. So now we can move on to the guitars. We'll start with the bass guitar. There's no uh, actual electric guitar for the verses. It's mostly bass and drums. So here is what the bass guitar sounds like. for a really clean bass guitar sound on this one just because we didn't want it cluttering up the mix a whole lot for those verse parts uh, we're running this through the line six helix and then all i have is just a little bit of uh, multi-band compression and a filter on there to get rid of some of the sub bass then we get to the guitars so to bring in that guitar during that kind of like pattern change at the end of the verse we have this really nice shimmery kind of uh, bright electric guitar to bring us in. This is what that sounds like. <laughs> Lots of delay and echo, and that just brings us with a nice transition between the verses and the choruses, really fills in that gap there. Uh, when we get to the chorus, that's when we get a lot of the other guitars added in. Here's what they all sound like all together. <laughs> how uh how messy and distorted that main lead guitar is and that's following the same melody as that voom synth from earlier but very grainy very distorted sounding i love that sound it's a preset that we have in the line six helix that we created called trails and it's just such a weird unique sound we use it again and i'll show you that for the guitar solo in night sea uh and it's such a different sound and it's really really like messy of a noise uh so i had to clean it up just by filtering out the low and high end to make it you know a little bit more present in the mix and this is what that guitar solo sounds like <laughs> I really like that guitar tone and I'm excited to use it more. So that's it for the guitars. We are already on to drums. And again, like in the Dusk video, we've got kind of a pretty standard trap drum, that 808 kind of feel. Let's just listen to all of that all together and uh, I'll, I'll briefly break down the parts of it. But for the most part, it's just a, a very standard drum setup, kind of that modern trap. Here's the verse. That is the verse, and then uh, we have this kind of really big acoustic sounding drum fill that I brought in between the verses and the choruses to kind of just change up the feel from those really tight, snappy 808 
snare hits and hi-hats, this uh, big acoustic kick comes in and really breaks things up. So here's what that sounds like. Just a big tonal change between the trap drums and the acoustic drums. That sounds really nice together. Here's what they sound like going into each other. You can hear that sub bass doing work on there too. So other than that, the only thing we have is this interesting reversed drums that I added in. So there's like, there's a snare roll in here followed by it's a reversed version of our regular kick drum. It's just for this one interesting part where we kind of drop everything out at the end of the choruses for like a big, impactful, emotional moment at the end of each chorus. So here's what the drums sound like there. So you can hear that that reverse snare comes in and ends on a regular snare. So, so it, it, it leads up into it and then the same thing happens with that reversed kick into a regular kick. It goes you, hear, you get that kind of like sucking feeling with the kicks hitting each other. That's it for drums. We're keeping it pretty simple. We're going fast on this one. And now we get to the interesting part of every song that makes it kind of stand out is my my lovely little effects group here. So uh, on this one, just the same as Dusk, we put in all the stuff that doesn't really fit with the other sounds in the song. So uh, you can see I have this labeled as Tambo, but that's obviously not what that is. Uh, I think that's, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the sound of a stapler. I mean, I made the song I should know, right? But it, it sounds to me like a stapler. <laughs> These are all labeled tambo, even though they're clearly not tambourine sounds, but that's okay. That just shows how disorganized I am. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Second one on here, I think we just have a lot more weird clicks and they're panned in different ways. So listen to this one. Yeah, I think we've got more office supplies if I'm not completely mistaken. I, I could be wrong, but that's what it sounds like to me. Let's listen to this last weird clicking sound that I've got in here. Pretty simple, weird snapping, clicking sounds, and they've all got an instance of FabFilter Saturn on them to give them a weird kind of almost tape recorded vibe to them. The last thing we've got on here is this thing. Me, that almost sounds like uh, somebody holding a like a bag of paper clips and going like this with it. I don't know, I could be making stuff up, but altogether that effects group sounds like this. And out of context, that doesn't sound like much. Uh, however, when we listen to the verse altogether, I'll just play that effects group with the, the drums here, just as an example. really does work on filling in those gaps and just providing so much weird rhythmic variety. It's it's almost a subconscious thing where you're not like consciously taking in what you're hearing, but there's there's things going on and your brain likes it. So the weird stapler noises, they just like work so well with the dark drums. It's really good. And now we're uh, we're ready. Everybody's favorite part, the vocals. So let's jump in and listen to those. Got a couple of those kind of like re reverb stretched uh, vowel sounds for this one to give it that that weird ghostly atmosphere here's what the verse vocals sound like we're just trying to make it through the night very dry i don't have any reverb or like 
anything on here. It's mostly just pitch correction for that kind of modern pop rap effect. Some compression. That's it. <laughs> like I said, not a whole lot going on here, but you don't really need a lot for for this type of vocal. And when you hear it with the track, it, it really doesn't need anything else with it. So a little bit before the chorus where everything kind of changes up, we add in a bunch of layers. So here is what the verse vocal sounds like by itself. I promise we'll be all right. But then we've got a couple couple lower layers, a couple higher layers, and they're just filling in the uh, the harmonic gaps. So here's the lower one. I promise we'll be all right. Tuned down, filtered. There's a lot of, uh, I think there's a lot of reverb on that one, actually. Uh, that just fills in that lower register. We've also got a higher one here. I promise we'll be all right. More of that kind of computery, uh, very affected robotic sound that I love. Uh, all together, when they come in together, it sounds like this. I promise we'll be all right. Such a fan of that sound. Let's move on to the chorus. So the chorus uh, keeps the same harmony parts, but this time we switch to a chorus vocal part uh, as opposed to the verse track. We've got the chorus track. This one's a lot more wet sounding, a uh, lot more reverb and echo added, and here's how that sounds by itself. Await the fading light of a world's dying sun. And with the other tracks, sounds like this. Await the fading light of a world's dying sun. We can outrun the night until dawn has come. So that is the chorus vocal part for Night C. Uh, then we get into what is my favorite part of the entire song, the second verse or the rap verse. The vocals get a lot quicker. They get a lot heavier in terms of the lyrics. And this is what that sounds like. We are alive. They tried to kill me, but I'm doing fine. Anything you say is crime. I'm saying it now. You're wasting my time. So you can see just the two tracks working together. Got the main super dry verse vocals with the lowered down deep vocals meld together really well. I boosted the gain on the vocals for that deep part, and that just gives it a little bit more push uh, when it's all compressed and put together. So that's pretty much it. Again, just like in the last video, uh, this is the unmixed and unmastered version. So from here, all we would have to do is export all the tracks, send them over to our mix engineer, and he would take care of the rest. So I hope you enjoyed our breakdown of Night C. Like I said before, if you haven't seen our other breakdown video, it was about our first single of the year, Dusk. So make sure you go watch that one next. There will be a card at the end of the video for that. If you like what you've heard so far, we perform a lot of our original music over on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Delver Music. We hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>